So I'm in my bathroom and I've been having trouble with my sink. My sink um, was not letting the water out quickly. And I've done this before, but I'll let you see inside my sink. Hold on, let me stand up. Uh, it's getting old, these knees are getting old. Um, so there's the pee trap. I took it off and all that gunk is all the stuff that's inside, all right? And now I'm gonna show you the sink. So this is under my sink, okay? This is the pee trap, I took it off. For those of you that don't know what a pee trap is, it's this elbow looking thing that is under your sink. It hooks in this way, right? Goes onto this, hooks there, and then you um, tighten those back up, right? So, so I was having all this trouble, I'm like, it's time to clean it out. Now, I haven't cleaned it out since I've been trying to use more natural products, but look at that. That's gross, right? That's even a, a makeup brush that I dropped down my sink by accident. Um, but all that is gross. It's probably alive. Um, it's, it's toxic, basically. It's probably old toothpaste, spit, toxic mouthwash that I was using. Just really gross. And it smells really, really bad, okay? So now I have everything put back together and cleaned up. I've tested the water to make sure there's no leaking and now I'm going to use my thieves cleaner to kill any germs bacteria or who knows what else um, was in there I touched all this stuff back here when I had my gloves on so I'm just going to spray all that and then let's go up to my sink all right it's dirty from cleaning it Spray my thieves cleaner all in there. I'm gonna even put some down there. Spray all of this. And I know with thieves cleaner, it's gonna clean and disinfect all of that yuckiness, right? I'm gonna let it sit there for a few minutes so it can do its job. I have literally replaced all my household cleaners with this one bottle. I will put a picture of the thieves cleaner that I have. I don't have it upstairs with me right now. But I've had my one bottle since November and it's still going strong, right? Or maybe it was December and this is March now and I'm almost into March. So I'll take one cap full and I've had about, I have a video how to do that. It's very simple. Put it in here. This cleans and disinfects everything. I've done away with all my bathroom sprays and scrubs and toilet cleaners and all of that stuff. So now I'm just letting this go a little bit longer and then I'm going to wipe everything down and I know everything is clean and disinfected. So think about that for a minute. All that gunk that I showed you came out of my drain came out of my drain I don't know how long it's been there but that was from me using whatever any kind of face washes that I was using that weren't natural um, toothpaste mouthwash all that stuff it didn't break down it just sat there it just sat there and it it did nothing it didn't break down or anything it just sat there so all these things that were sitting in my drain, guess what? They were in my body too. You know why? Because anything that you put on top of your body or in your body, it gets released into your body, okay? So that's just something to think about. That's why I'm always sharing uh, toxic-free, chemical-free, living, all that stuff. There's just so many things that we're exposed to in our environment. And if you can just take your home room by room, and it's, it, it seems like it's really a lot of work to do, but I'm not totally chemical free and it may take me a while, but I know that every little bit that I'm doing is going towards that goal. So I've rambled enough. Thank you for watching. And I hope that has helped clean out your drains and see what's in there. Okay. Even if your drains aren't going slow, 
open your drains and see what's in there, all right? Clean it out. It's, it's, it's better for you to clean it out than it to be in because you're still breathing that stuff in. All right, see you all later. Bye.